the G7 and G20 are facing the shock of their lifetimes. Kenya has witnessed numerous protests, including the high cost of living demonstrations in 2023 and the 2017 anti-corruption protests. In recent protests in the capital, a younger generation has taken to the streets, an unprecedented sight. Is it possible for African nations to join BRICS after reducing Western influence? There was an assumption that African countries would be left isolated, but this perspective overlooked the significant implications of these nations joining BRICS. Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger have announced their intention to join BRICS, causing concern in the West. This move not only strengthens BRICS, but also helps these African nations gain independence from Western influence. The key question remains, will the West allow this shift? or will they take measures to prevent it? The recent announcements by Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger of their intention to join BRICS signify a significant geopolitical and economic shift. This decision comes after their departure from the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, and the expulsion of French forces from their territories. Such moves are sending ripples through global economic and political arenas, challenging existing power structures and alliances. In response, ECOWAS shut land and air borders to the landlocked countries, halted financial transactions, and froze Mali's government access to the regional central bank. With prices of basic necessities rising and the state running low on cash, the sanctions are heavily affecting the people of Mali. Many locals question the need for international organizations like ECOWAS to dictate their affairs. The demonstration started with a prayer for peace in a country torn by war, where millions are displaced and thousands have been killed despite the presence of EU, UN, French, and West African troops. Groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL are gaining ground. The integration of these three nations into BRICS, an organization comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, could herald a new era of geopolitical realignment and economic independence for West Africa. What drove Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to leave ECOWAS and seek membership in BRICS? Nigerians living and doing business in Ghana have been persistently harassed, with many of their businesses closed down. Over 400 shops belonging to Nigerians are currently under lock and key by Ghanaian authorities, citing reasons related to business competition. This situation underscores broader issues of regional integration and cooperation under ECOWAS, which was originally intended to bring the 15 member countries together as one entity. The departure from ECOWAS marks a pivotal moment for Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. The primary reasons for leaving the regional bloc are rooted in criticisms of ECOWAS's external influences and a deviation from its founding principles. Originally established to foster economic cooperation and regional integration, ECOWAS has increasingly been seen by some member states as being under significant Western influence, particularly from France and the United States. Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger have expressed concerns that ECOWAS has strayed from its mission of ensuring the well-being of its member states and their populations. These nations argue that ECOWAS's policies and interventions are often more aligned with the interests of external powers than with those of the region itself. This perception has been exacerbated by the bloc's handling of political crises and conflicts within its member states. For Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, the decision to leave ECOWAS is also about reclaiming sovereignty and self-determination. By stepping away from an organization they view as compromised, these nations hope to assert greater control over their political and economic futures. The move is seen as a rejection of neo-colonial influences and a step towards greater regional autonomy. The expulsion of French military forces from Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger marks a significant shift towards regaining national sovereignty and decision-making power. For decades, the presence of French troops in these countries symbolized lingering neo-colonial influence, initially justified as a means of combating terrorism and maintaining regional stability. Over time, however, this presence came to be seen as a manifestation of external control over domestic affairs, with growing frustration over the perceived ineffectiveness of counter-terrorism efforts and heavy-handed approaches to local conflicts fueling anti-French sentiment. The removal of French forces reflects a broader regional sentiment against foreign military presence and intervention, underscoring these countries' aspirations for self-determination and control over their security. 
This decision also signals a significant shift in geopolitical alignments as these nations seek new partnerships and alliances that better align with their strategic interests. The decision to join BRICS is driven by economic aspirations, geopolitical strategies, and a desire for greater autonomy. By joining BRICS, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger aim to make independent decisions free from Western influence. BRICS, which includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, offers an alternative geopolitical alliance that aligns with these nations' development goals and sovereignty. The group's emphasis on mutual respect, non-interference, and economic cooperation is particularly appealing to these countries seeking to break free from historical dependencies. Joining BRICS allows these countries to tap into a network of emerging economies collectively working to create a more balanced and multipolar world order. This aligns with their broader goals of diversifying economic partnerships, attracting investments, and fostering sustainable development. BRICS members are known for their significant contributions to global trade, investment, and technology transfer, which can provide invaluable support for the development aspirations of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Moreover, BRICS offers a platform for these nations to enhance their international standing and influence. By aligning with a group that advocates for reforms in global governance structures, they can amplify their voices on the global stage. This strategic alliance is also expected to facilitate greater South-South cooperation, crucial for addressing common challenges and leveraging collective strengths. The decision to join BRICS and expel French forces has already begun to yield positive outcomes for Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. In Burkina Faso, there has been a significant decrease in terrorism since cutting ties with France. This security improvement can be attributed to the country's enhanced focus on developing indigenous solutions and strengthening regional cooperation. Similarly, Niger has emerged as the fastest growing economy in Africa after severing its connections with France. The country has experienced a surge in foreign investments, particularly from non-Western sources, and has witnessed significant advancements in key sectors such as agriculture, mining, and infrastructure. These positive outcomes underscore the potential benefits of aligning with BRICS, seen as a pathway to enhanced economic opportunities, greater political stability, and increased regional cooperation. By joining BRICS, these countries are not only seeking to diversify their economic partnerships, but also to redefine their geopolitical alignments in a way that better serves their national interests. The involvement of BRICS, and particularly Russia, plays a pivotal role in the successful integration of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger into this new alliance, providing critical support in this transition. BRICS aims to eliminate the use of the U.S. dollar in global trade by the end of 2024 prioritizing local currencies to bolster native economies and businesses. This strategy is intended to reduce dependence on the U.S. dollar and lessen the impact of U.S. monetary policy on their economies. By fostering a multi-currency global trade system, BRICS seeks to create a more balanced and resilient international economic order. The BRICS nations are also committed to promoting sustainable development, enhancing trade and investment flows, and supporting technological innovation. These goals align with the development priorities of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, making BRICS an attractive partner. The group's focus on infrastructure development, energy cooperation, and financial inclusion offers significant opportunities for these nations to accelerate their economic growth and improve the well-being of their populations. Russia's involvement is pivotal in this transition, providing military and political support to help these nations stabilize and achieve their national objectives. Russia has a long history of cooperation with African nations, particularly in areas such as defense, energy, and education. In recent years, Russia has intensified its efforts to strengthen its ties with Africa, offering military training, arms supplies, and strategic advisory services. This support has been crucial in helping Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger enhance their security capabilities and address internal threats. In addition to military support, Russia is also providing significant economic assistance. Russian investments in infrastructure, mining, and energy sectors are helping these countries build the necessary foundations for sustainable development. The establishment of joint ventures and partnerships with Russian companies is facilitating technology transfer and capacity building, essential for economic diversification and resilience. Russia's involvement is strategically important in countering Western influence in the region. 
by aligning with Russia, these nations are signaling their commitment to pursuing a more independent and diversified foreign policy. This strategic alignment is expected to create new opportunities for economic cooperation, political dialogue, and cultural exchange, further strengthening ties between Russia and the BRICS members in West Africa. The decision to join BRICS and adopt local currencies for international trade has profound economic implications for Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. The adoption of local currencies for international trade is expected to have a substantial impact on global trade dynamics and the value of the U.S. dollar. This move enhances the stability and value of the local currencies of BRICS nations, including potential new members like Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. By reducing reliance on the dollar, these countries aim to insulate their economies from external economic shocks and promote more sustainable growth. The use of local currencies in trade transactions will also help mitigate exchange rate volatility and reduce transaction costs, making trade more efficient and predictable. Furthermore, the adoption of local currencies is expected to boost domestic industries and create new economic opportunities. Local businesses will benefit from improved access to credit and financing, as well as enhanced competitiveness in regional and global markets. This move will also encourage greater financial inclusion, enabling more people to participate in the formal economy and access essential financial services. Joining BRICS offers specific economic benefits for Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, including increased investments, enhanced trade relations, and technology transfer, all of which are crucial for their economic development and growth. BRICS membership is expected to open up new avenues for infrastructure development, access to larger markets, and integration into global supply chains. Significant investments in key sectors such as agriculture, mining, manufacturing, and energy will help these countries diversify their economies and reduce their dependence on a narrow range of exports. Enhanced trade relations with BRICS members will also provide opportunities for these countries to expand their export markets and improve their trade balances. The establishment of preferential trade agreements and the reduction of trade barriers will facilitate smoother and more profitable trade transactions, contributing to overall economic growth. Technology transfer is another critical benefit of joining BRICS, as access to advanced technologies and innovations from BRICS members will help these countries modernize their industries, improve productivity, and enhance their competitive edge. Collaborative research and development initiatives will foster innovation and support the creation of new products and services tailored to local and regional markets. Overall, the economic implications of joining BRICS are far-reaching, offering Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger a pathway to sustainable development, economic resilience, and greater integration into the global economy. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger are rich in valuable minerals crucial for the global economy. Burkina Faso is the fourth largest producer of gold in Africa, while Mali produced 66.2 tons of gold in 2022. Niger is the seventh largest producer of uranium worldwide, with high-grade ore in high demand. These minerals are essential for various industries, including technology, energy, and manufacturing. Gold is used in electronics, jewelry, and as a financial asset, while uranium is key in nuclear energy production. The strategic importance of these resources makes Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger valuable partners for BRICS, which seeks to secure reliable sources of essential raw materials. Gold and uranium play critical roles in the global economy. Gold is increasingly seen as a reliable store of value, and uranium is vital for nuclear power, a key component of the transition to clean energy. These resources provide significant economic leverage for these countries, making them valuable partners for BRICS. The high global demand for gold and uranium gives these countries considerable bargaining power in international markets. By aligning with BRICS, they can secure favorable trade terms and attract substantial investments in their mining sectors. This economic leverage also enhances their geopolitical standing, enabling them to play a more influential role in regional and global affairs. Moreover, Revenues from mineral exports can be reinvested in critical areas such as infrastructure, education, and healthcare, helping to build more diversified and resilient economies capable of sustaining long-term growth. The integration of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger into BRICS is expected to bring numerous benefits to the African continent, fostering greater regional cooperation and development.
Diplomatic engagements between BRICS and West African leaders highlight the growing interest in forming strategic partnerships. Recent visits and discussions focus on economic, trade, and infrastructure development, signaling a commitment to mutual growth and development. These engagements promise to bring significant benefits to the African continent by strengthening diplomatic ties with BRICS. African nations can leverage these relationships to address common challenges such as poverty, unemployment, and underdevelopment. Collaborative efforts in education, healthcare, and technology will also support the continent's broader development goals. The integration of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger into BRICS is expected to enhance Africa's collective bargaining power in international forums. By presenting a united front on key issues, African nations can more effectively advocate for their interests and influence global policies and decisions. For landlocked countries like Niger, improving transport infrastructure is crucial for facilitating trade and enhancing connectivity. BRICS, renowned for its expertise and substantial resources, is well positioned to support regional infrastructure development, which is vital for economic progress. Investments in roads, railways, and ports will improve access to markets, reduce trade costs, and enhance regional integration. Improved infrastructure will also support the development of key sectors such as agriculture and manufacturing by providing better access to resources, inputs, and markets. Furthermore, infrastructure development will create jobs and stimulate economic activity, contributing to overall economic growth and poverty reduction. By investing in infrastructure, BRICS can help these countries build the foundation for long-term development and prosperity. The integration of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger into BRICS is expected to bring numerous benefits to Africa, including enhanced diplomatic engagement, infrastructure development, and economic growth. This new partnership promises to foster greater regional cooperation and development, contributing to a more prosperous and stable Africa. The decision of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to join BRICS marks a significant geopolitical and economic shift. By moving away from Western influence and aligning with BRICS, these nations are poised to achieve greater sovereignty, economic growth, and stability. The strategic importance of their mineral wealth and the potential benefits of enhanced infrastructure development underscore the far-reaching implications of this move. As the global economic landscape evolves, the integration of these West African nations into BRICS is set to have profound and lasting impacts, offering a new model of development and cooperation for the region and beyond.